click on the red subscribe button and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can restore or install Stock Farmer over custom ROM on Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 smartphone. You can follow this same method to install Stock Farmer on any Samsung Galaxy phone. So let's get started. Here you can see my Galaxy S2 S2 model number GT S7582 is currently running on Cyanogen mode custom ROM based on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. On this, I will flash official Android 4.2.2 Jellywin firmware. To do this, we need to download the stock firmware file and Odin software. Download link for both firmware and Odin are given in description. Now, switch off your phone and boot into download mode by pressing and holding the volume down, home and power button together. Long press until a warning message appears. Now press volume up key to continue. Now extract the downloaded Odin zip file and run Odin application file as an administrator. Now connect your phone to computer through USB data cable. In Odin screen, you can see a comport number and added text in logbox. This means your phone is successfully detected by Odin. Now, extract the downloaded farmer zip file. The main farmer file will have the .tab.md5 extension. Now click on AP button in Odin software to add farmer file. Select the farmer file having .tab.md5 extension. The file is added. Make sure that there are no other options are selected except auto reboot and F reset time. Now click on the start button to start flashing stock farmer. The flashing process will take few moments, around 5 to 10 minutes. During installation process, you can see the progress bar and log messages. Your phone will also show the progress bar. Do not unplug the USB data cable or do nothing with Odin and phone while installation is in progress. Wait until it's over. The phone will automatically restart after finishing installation. While the phone is rebooting, you can unplug the USB cable. After reboot, before home screen appear, some routine work will be done, such as language selection, device name, and others. Do the required settings. Now go to your phone settings, tap on about device option and check the installed firmware details.